Yehova Elohim Svaot. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me and speak through me with your Ruach HaKodesh that it may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with another... We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Ezekiel chapter 28. The word of Yehovah came to me, human being. Tell the prince of Zor that Yehovah Elohim says, Because you are so proud, I have said, I am an Elohim. I sit on the throne of Elohim, surrounded by the sea. Yet you are a man, not Elohim. Even though you think that you think like Elohim. Sure, you are wiser than Daniel. No secret can be hidden from you. By your wisdom and discernment, you have acquired wealth. You have gathered gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great skill in trading, you have increased your wealth. And it is because of your wealth that you have become so proud. Therefore, you have all, Elohim says, because you think that you think like Elohim, I will bring foreigners against you, the most barbarous of the nations, to draw their swords against your fine wisdom and defile your splendor. They will lower you into the pit to die, a violent death surrounded by the sea. Will you still say, I am Elohim, to them who are about to kill you? You are a man. You are not Elohim. In the hands of those who defile you, you will die the deaths of the uncircumcised. In the hands of foreigners, for I have spoken, says Yehovah Elohim. The word of Yehovah came to me, human being, raise a lament for the king of Zor and tell him that Yehovah Elohim says, you put the seal on perfection. You were full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of Elohim, covered with all kinds of precious stones, cornelians, topaz, diamonds, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphires, green field spar, emeralds, and your pendants and jewelry were made of gold, prepared the day you were created. You were a karuv, protecting a large region. I placed you on Elohim's Kadosh Mountain. You walked back and forth among stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created until unrighteousness was found in you. When your commerce grew, you became filled with violence, and in this way you sinned. Therefore, I have thrown you out, defiled from the mountain of Elohim. I have destroyed you, protecting Karuv. From among the stones of fire, your heart grew proud because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. But I have thrown you on the ground. Before kings, I have made you a spectacle. By your many crimes in dishonest trading, you have profaned your sanctuaries. Therefore, I brought forth fire from within you and it has devoured you. I reduced you into ashes on the ground. In the sight of all who can see, all who know you among the peoples will be aghast at you. You are an object of terror, and you will cease to exist. The word of Yehovah came to me. Human being, turn your face toward Zidon and prophesy against it. Say that Yehovah Elohim says, I am against you, Zidon, but I will be glorified in you. They will know that I, 
in Yehovah. Once I execute judgment in her and show my holiness in her, for I will send plagues into her and blood will flow in her streets. Attacked from all sides by the sword, the wounded will fall within her. Then they will know that I am Yehovah. The house of Israel no longer will no longer have a briar pricking away at them. No longer will any of its contemptuous neighbors be a thorn to stab them. They will know that I am Yehovah Elohim. Yehovah Elohim says, Once I have gathered the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered, once I have shown my holiness in them as the nations watch, then they will live in their own land, which I gave to my servant Yaakov. They will have security when they live there, building houses and planting vineyards. Yes, they will live in safety. Once I have executed judgments against all their contemptuous neighbors, then they will know that I am Yehovah, their Elohim. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this interesting 28th chapter of Ezekiel? We can desire the written word of Yehovah. Proclaim the written word of Yehovah. Humble yourself. Know that you are only human. Glorify Yehovah knowing that he sits on the throne. Know that we think like humans and cannot think like Elohim. Aim to fear Yehovah and get the wisdom Yehovah gives to humans. Live in modesty. Aim to live in simplicity. Always have an attitude focused on serving. Aim to always have a mindset of gratitude. Give your skills to Yehovah for him to use for his purpose. Find your identity in Yehovah. Aim to be in a right standing with Yehovah. Be filled with love. Stay on the way that leads to Yehovah. Know that he is Yehovah. Seek the holiness of Yehovah. Find safety in Yehovah. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can walk in humility. Bear one another's burdens. Keep an attitude focused on serving. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end on this Shabbat, the Sabbath, with the Arionic blessing, using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Shalom, shalom.